very official. I gotta get my notes because I kind of pretend to be smart. Hey friends, it's your good friend Tim Campbell Smith, social media marketing consultant. Today we're talking about whether or not you should use Alignable in your small business social media marketing. Now let me say this, before I tell you like yes or no, we're actually going to go through a pro-con method today. Uh, you know, there's a general list that I go through before we entertain any platform. So before we even think about Alignable, here's some things I want you to answer first. Do you have time? Do you have energy? Do you have capacity for this? Is your target audience there? People, especially social media marketers, will try and tell you, you've got to be on, you know, this platform or that platform, especially if a person specializes in that particular platform. But my question is always, like, is your audience there? Do you have the time and energy for it? Thankfully, a lot of will actually requires a really low energy investment compared to other social media platforms. So I kind of like that. But we're going to go through the pros and cons of Alignable, and then I want you to think about whether or not you should be using it in your small business. So what is Alignable? Alignable is a new, newer social media platform. Think of like LinkedIn's little cousin. It's B2B, so business to business networking. So you join as a business first. Now please note, or at the end of this segment, I'm gonna walk you through a screen recording of, of Alignable and you'll really get to see the platform and kind of see navigation there. But you join as a business first, and then, you know, you fill out your details as a person. So it's only once people try to connect with you or they send you direct messages that they see your name. Otherwise, they see you as a business first. So you network with people who are B2B, business to business, and it's also locally focused. It's about communities. Otherwise, it's pretty straightforward compared to other social media platforms, most notably LinkedIn and Twitter. So let's go through the pros and then we'll go through the cons and maybe I'll, we'll have some discussion questions and something that, some things you can think about. So some pros. I love how easy it is to use Alignable. You log in and like most social media platforms, but I think Alignable does this a little bit better. They really walk you through each step of what they want you to do and it's pretty standard. But with that, and this is another pro with Alignables, you can really fill out a lot of good details. So you can actually list the services you offer, events, promotions, the things you really want to be telling customers about. I really like that with Alignable. You can also fill in things like your target customer, like who is your ideal customer? Oh, I love that. So they really walk you through, it's pretty easy to use, and they walk you through all the things to fill out on your Alignable profile. Another pro that I like for Alignable is that it's actually pretty new. I don't know about you, but I love the novel and the new, and especially when it comes to social media. Is there totally a need for Alignable? I'm not totally sure. LinkedIn is certainly learning and growing, but it's new. It's novel and exciting. And with that, you're going to get people who enjoy the new, the novel, and the exciting. Alignable is local. I like this pro as well. Mind you, I come from a community that loves to support local small business. So it's local. So you're actually getting to know the businesses in your area. It's only once you pay for an account and you have a paid subscription that you can start to network with people outside of your local geography. But otherwise, it's local. And it's business to business, which in some regards can actually be a, an easier form of marketing than direct you know, business to consumer. I also love, and here's my other couple of pros is the reviews and the social proof. So just like Google, just like LinkedIn, just like Facebook, you can leave reviews. I personally, I have to admit, it's the main reason why I still use Alignable is that I'm still collecting reviews. The second part to reviews, and this is another pro that I've personally been the recipient of, are awards. So you can actually win awards like Small Business Person of the Year for your community and for your business category. So I have won Business Person of the Year for Guelph multiple times which was pretty exciting. So there's another layer of social proof that you could be using. Finally, my last pro is the paid subscriptions. I have some mixed feelings and I did also put paid subscriptions in the con list, but when you pay for it, you can get some pretty powerful things. And generally speaking, it's, it can be inexpensive to pay for an Alignable account. So that's something to think about. Now, when it comes to Alignable, whenever I talk to folks about Alignable, they either are confused and they have no idea what I'm talking about, or there's groans, and it's not always a positive feeling. And it's kind of well-earned. So let me be straight up, well maybe not straight up, maybe like gaily up? Gaily up? Gaily up. Let me be honest about some of the cons and some of the things you're going to run into with Alignable. First, 
having to pay for a social media platform is kind of confusing and a little counterintuitive compared to other platforms. Normally with other platforms we're just paying for ads, with Alundable you're paying to use it. The free account does come with some options, but you'll find if you really want to use Alignable to grow online and in your business, you're going to hit a glass ceiling pretty quick and you're going to have to pay for it. So that's a little funny. Second, and actually I probably should have put this first, this is one of the biggest problems with Alignable. With almost every single action, every time you click on something, you're going to get a pop-up, you're going to get a notification, you're going to get redirected. Alignable constantly wants you to put in email addresses and import your LinkedIn contacts. Gross. No thank you. And it's because they're trying to grow the platform. They're trying to grow it in terms of users. They're trying to grow in terms of revenue, which is kind of understandable. Personally, I think this is a choice that's a little bit of a swing and a miss, but it's totally their call. So just a heads up, you are constantly going to be asked for emails and to import your LinkedIn contacts. Don't do it. It's spammy. It's less than ideal. The other cons, which I did also put in with pros, one is that it's so small. It is so new, they don't have a huge user base, so you may not find a lot of other people. And then this brings me to my other con, because it is so geographically focused, because you have to network with people in such a small area, if you're not in a city, town, or area where there's many businesses, your networking radius is going to be really limited, the people within it will be limited, and it's not really going to pay off. So you've kind of got to be in an area where Alignable's already being adopted. So. so with all that, you know, hearing those pros, hearing those cons, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about your capacity. Think like, do you have the time to take this on? You know, all social media platforms are front-loaded, which means you put way more effort into it at the beginning, setting it up, getting used to it, than maintenance. I do love that Alignable is quite easy to maintain. You don't post on Alignable like you do other platforms. You might post like a service or a promotion, but that's it. Otherwise, you're networking with people. So that kind of removes that element. That said, then you've just got to be tracking more passive behaviors like networking and direct messaging. Are you prepared for that? That's a big question as well. A big thing that turns people off, and I've seen, you know, leads people to either leave the platform angry and disgruntled, or stay with it and be fine, is all these pop-up notifications and all the times you're being asked to import your audience network. Are you willing to tolerate that? Are you prepared for that? That's, I think that's one where, like, you kind of have to do it to see if you're okay with it, but... Otherwise, like if you can be okay with it, then it's a great platform. But I also do see it disgruntle a lot of people and I'm gonna turn them off. So, and then the other question I want you to ask is how will you know if you're successful or not? You know, with a free account, you can send uh, 10, up to 10 connection requests per month. So how would you be able to determine when you were successful? Maybe when you got 50 people in your network? Maybe after three months if you were happy with it? Maybe another way to uh, decide if you were successful is if you got a certain amount of business from it. I think that's important to decide before deciding yes or no on joining a new social media platform. I'm going to leave you here to dive right into Alignable. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on what you're thinking for Alignable and drop it in the comments and let me know if you're using it or thinking about using it or where you land on Alignable. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, friends!